Sweet. Hello, my name's Dale Jones, and uh, this next joke goes out to the ladies. <laughs> I love saying that, because I'm surprised some women, most women get that look like, no thanks, we got some, thank you. <laughs> we ordered earlier. <laughs> You got that look. I'm not weird. I just have different crayons in my box. <laughs> and my favorite color is potato. So <laughs> I had to pay to get in here too. Okay. <laughs> this is why I'm not allowed to do the announcements before the show because I would say something stupid. I can't help it. I'd be like, hey, welcome to the Comedy and Magic Club. Please pick out your weapons and may the odds be ever in your favor. <laughs> One person clap. Oh, I, that's a good idea. I've been waiting to stab a bitch. <laughs> and I'm a country boy. I grew up in a rural community, and the problem living in a rural community is I can't say the word rural. <laughs> I've never been in a rural. Rural? Rural. I've never been. It makes me think maybe my dog didn't know how to talk, and he was trying to teach me how to say it. And every day. Rural. You know what? From now on, you poop outside. Here's where it gets weird. <laughs> My home address was Rural Route 1, which means I was afraid to run away from home. <laughs> Because I knew if I changed my mind, nobody could understand me. <laughs> I'd be at the police station for days. I live in Rural Rock! <laughs> like 10 years later, what happened to that Dale kid? He's, he's, he's a cold case. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is I don't sleep well. I don't sleep well. I don't. Don't ever go to bed and count sheep either. Because when I got done counting, three were missing. I spent the rest of the night forming a search party. <laughs> I'm so worried about these sheep. My dream turned into an episode of Law and Order. But it was a weird episode because I was showing pictures of sheep to sheep. So I'm like, have you seen this, you? Look at you when I'm talking to you. I don't think I need to tell you guys. I, did, I, uh, I, did, I didn't go to college. <laughs> this is it. There is, there's no plan B. I'm serious. If I don't get famous, I'm going to end up in a nursing home telling jokes for yogurt. <laughs> I'm going to be the old man that tells knock-knock jokes and then forgets who's there. Knock-knock, <laughs> like, who's there? Get the hell off my porch! <laughs> All right, so my name's Dale. We covered that. I'm, uh, I'm biracial. I'm uh, half sperm, half egg. But, uh, to be honest, I don't know what I am, and that upsets me. A lot of people know where they come from. I went to my dad, and I go, hey, where are we come? What are we? And he goes, you are a mistake. <laughs> One person, at least he knows. I know I'm related to Pocahontas. I saw the paperwork and I didn't believe it either. I don't look like I'm related to Pocahontas. I look like I'm related to a corn dog. <laughs> I don't even know what Pocahontas did. I knew she was a model for Land of Lakes Butter. <laughs> also known she did a dirty movie called Pocahontas. <laughs> so, <laughs> that was by accident. I was just flipping channels. I was like, oh, Mima, no! <laughs> It's a meat mall. It's a big one. <laughs> I don't have ADD. I know what you think. I, I don't. I'm, I'm going to tell you why I don't, because I went to school in the 70s and 80s, and back then, they didn't have it. <laughs> it had not been invented yet. You know what they called it back then? Stupid! I heard that every day, and then I'd have to sit in the hallway and think about something I did that I'd already forgot. <laughs> the joke's on them. I learned more in that hallway than I learned in home ec. Here's what I learned. I learned if you take a pencil and you put a piece of gum on the end of it and you throw it up on the ceiling and you watch it, after a while, you're gonna need an eye patch. 
<laughs> I don't know why my wife married me either. I don't know why anybody would look at this and go, woo, break me off a piece of that crack <laughs> this, this is my second wife. You know what that means? I found two women with poor decision-making skills. <laughs> it's not all her fault. We met at Lens Crafters. I'm pretty sure this was blurred. <laughs> and I walked up to her and I go, do I look better or worse? <laughs> And we don't have kids, you seem worried. <laughs> I want to have kids, but a jury of my peers said no. <laughs> so I'd like to have a daughter, and I got a perfect name picked out for her, a beautiful name. You ready? Here it goes. Syphilis. <laughs> Wait for it. Nobody's going to have sex with syphilis. <laughs> right? I understand. That's the joke that got me kicked off the Disney crew. They didn't like me on the Disney boat because I was more animated than their people. <laughs> Don't ever go on a Disney boat. Then people are miserable. The kids are running around happy. The parents are just looking at the floor all day going, I'm not getting laid. <laughs> I've seen Frozen 500 times and I'm not getting laid. <laughs> Up yours, you let it go. <laughs> I don't care if I pay that much money for a boat ride, I'm gonna have sex to the songs. I don't, you know, just... I just, under the sea. <laughs> oh, no, Just a spoonful of sugar, have some medicine, go down in the most delightful... You ain't never had a friend like me. <laughs> That's it for me, I gotta go. <laughs> Thank you.